Hey, 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 what's poppin', yo? So, I've been drained of video ideas for a little while now, so I went through my old video list of ideas on my notes app, and just went through some of the suggestions that I used to have. I saw this video and thought, yeah, why not? So if you don't know, reboots are when a movie or show has already been made, and then the studios crave more money, so then they make another version of it and tell the exact same story, pretty much. Today, I'll be going through some of the reboots and discussing the good, the bad, and unfortunately, the ugly. Before we continue, make sure to subscribe and maybe hit the bell if you feel like it. We're closing in on 200 subscribers, so you gotta help us! Anyways, on to the video. First, let's talk about one of my favorite reboots that have been made in recent memory, Jumanji. Jumanji originally came out in 1995 with Robin Williams, and it's about a board game that comes to life. So, they had to finish the game and undo anything. And this movie is pretty okay. The original is pretty okay. It was never, I was never super into it as a kid. I just thought it was a very solid movie. Now the reboot, oh ho 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 ho. First off, they make it a video game. Already makes it cooler for a Gen Zer like myself. Also, they have four of the biggest actors of this generation in Kevin Hart, Jack Black, Karen Gillan, and Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I mean, come on, come on. Also, this movie was so good, they made a second one. And it wasn't as good as the, I guess, the second. But it was still awesome. It, sh it definitely showed how good of actors uh, The Rock and Kevin Hart are since they have to play like two or three different characters throughout the movie, including old men. The inclusion of Danny DeVito and Danny Glover was also another awesome choice for them to make. If Jack Black does end up retiring from acting, then this was a great send-off. The next reboot I've already talked about on this channel, which is Planet of the Apes, baby! There are some people that think the OG is better. The only thing I have to say to that is Upside down I found the things they say just can't be found No, but actually, this movie adds way more to the character development uh, and it focus more, focuses more on the, the monkeys and the apes instead of the humans which I think was really cool. I really enjoyed that. Instead of focusing on an astronaut that lands in Monkey Planet, this time it's the monkeys taking over the human planet. If you want my full thoughts, go check this video out in the corner right here. The last good reboot I want to talk about is the Dark Knight Trilogy. Now I'm gonna be honest, this is a mixed bag. Batman Origins is kinda bad and, and it hasn't really aged well. But Dark Knight and Dark Knight Rises are great movies. The only thing I have against The Dark Knight Rises is that the ending kind of gives you like a funny feeling that's kind of like indescribable, like it feels unfinished. Now there are a lot of reboots of Batman and not all of them are good, but I just want to take a minute to highlight The Dark Knight. It just feels the most like Batman. I'm turning into IGN. Like this might be the best Bruce Wayne I've ever seen. Also Heath Ledger, I mean come on man. He won all of those awards for a reason. It just felt almost perfect in every way, and every time I watch it, I see something new and appreciate it more. I have a poster of it on my wall. I'm going to stop myself now before I rant about this movie for the next three hours, so we've gone over the good movies now. Let's talk about the bad. So Spider-Man has had plenty of successful reboots in the form of the Homecoming series and Into the Spider-Verse, but what about the last one? The one that nobody talks about. The Amazing Spider-Man is Sony's worst Spider-Man movies. First one was actually not that bad. It was very mediocre. Now, Amazing Spider-Man 2... That's rough, buddy. Even a nine-year-old Sam watching this for the first time kept yelling no throughout the movie because even he knew how bad and awful this movie is. Peter is just creepy and he's whining the whole time. Gwen is just super boring. Harry is stupid. And Electro deserved way better than the treatment that he got in this movie. Also, what's the point of all of the Sinister Six hints throughout the movie just to end it here? It makes no sense. Not even Andrew Garfield is proud of these movies. And he was in it! And staying on topic of superhero movies. Fox. How did you make Fantastic Four 
worse than it already was! You took an already bad movie and made it even worse. Every character is boring, and what's with Doom? He looks more like the Terminator. Every actor does terrible in this, except for Michael B. Jordan, and you can tell he's trying so hard to make people care about their characters. And I gotta break it to you, it doesn't work. Nobody cares. Now there's just bad, but then there's lazy. And that's what the Lion King is. Sorry, Donald. You'll get him next time. There's nothing interesting about this movie. It's a bland story with bland characters. What made the first Lion King was so good is that they showed emotion and feelings through the animation. And now that's all gone since they all look super hyper-realistic. They couldn't just let the story play out. We didn't need Donald and Yancey to tell us everything that was going on for us. Because I couldn't care less. Heck, even the voice acting didn't even sound great. Too bad it still made 1.6 billion dollars. We gave Disney exactly what they wanted, guys. The money! Which is what I don't like about the Disney re remakes and reboots. They are good. It's just for the money. It's just it's a pain for all the true fans of their work. Just so unfortunate that it's bec it's just come to this, okay? They aren't good. Sorry I ranted for a second there, but now I'm back to reality. That's all I have for today. What do you think of these remakes and reboots? Let me know about the other reboots you want to discuss. Before I go, I want to talk about one more thing. Now you may be wondering, Now Sam, where are the Superman movies? That's been rebooted a bunch. Now let me tell you a hot take here. There is no such thing as a good Superman movie. The closest thing to a good Superman movie is the one hour special of Superman and Lois. Batman is better. Boom! Roasted! Hey, got him. Upside down. I'll find the things they say just can't be found